welcome to a new video on my channel. My name is Marie, in case this is your first time watching. And in this video, I will finally share my entire designer shoe collection with you all. I've been wanting to film this video for the longest time now, but I already knew beforehand that this video would be quite time consuming and I never really had that much time available until now. So today finally is the day where I am filming my entire designer shoe collection with you. I'm so excited to share my collection with you. I really love designer shoes. I really love how high quality shoes. I think it is so important for your feet because they take you everywhere to have a good quality pair of shoe. So I'm gonna share my entire collection with you. I will tell you how I like them. What about the sizing? Do you have to size up, size down? Are they worth the splurge or should you maybe stay away from them? And in case they are still available, I will also have a link down in the description box so you can find the shoe easiest. Before I ramble on too much now though, let's get straight into the video. I thought long and hard about how I would structure this video and I thought it's the easiest if I do it by brand. So first up I'm gonna show you all my Valentino shoes. I do have quite a collection of Valentino shoes and I do love them very much. And first up is this beautiful pair of Ruxted kitten heels in this all black combination and these I have to say I love so much. They are quite comfortable, they are kitten heels as you can see and this heel height is such a perfect heel height, I really like it. You can really stay in them all day and night and your feet won't hurt so I really really like them. They are also true to size and I picked size 37 so 37 is my regular size. These are simply such a gorgeous and classic pair. I love the patent with all the noir studs. I really really like this one so much and in general I have to say I really like Valentino Rockstead shoes. They have so many different varieties and I do have quite a few of them but these specifically I really really like and can't recommend them enough. I also have the Roxas heels in the high heel heeled version in this gorgeous pink color and if you've watched my designer handbag collection you might know that I have the matching handbag for these. I simply love this color. I think it is such a beautiful and vibrant pink color. I've worn them a few times but not a lot as you can probably see from the sole but I haven't worn them a lot simply because of the color. It's such a unique color but comfort wise I have to say these are one of the most comfortable high heels ever. I really really like them. The only thing that you have to be mindful of you do need to size up with these. I mentioned I have the kitten heels in 37 but these you definitely have to size up half a size so mine are in size 37 and a half and now they fit perfectly. I do really like them and in general I love that you can get these in so many different colors and I do think they are quite a classy pair of heels and if you have been thinking about getting them definitely go for them. I personally really Really recommend them. Now on to a style of Valentino shoes I really can't recommend to you and these are the Valentino flats. As you can see I have this in the light grey colour with light gold studs. I've worn them a few times, you can even see I have a bit of damage in the front but honestly these 
make my feet hurt so badly. As soon as I walk even more than 15 minutes in them, my feet get the worst blisters ever. So I really, really can't recommend these at all. To my bad, I even purchased another pair in black. This one is the classic pair with the black studs. And even though I knew these definitely don't work for me, I still purchased these and needed to say these aren't better either. So definitely save your money, don't get these. I really regret buying two pairs, but somehow even though I'm quite quick to sell off items, I can't get rid of these. Maybe because with both of these I have matching handbags, but I don't really grab them anymore. They are so uncomfortable and really make my feet hurt. So definitely save your money and don't get these. A pair of Valentino shoes I can recommend, however, are the classic Valentino sneakers. I have them in the classic combo in white with the light gold studs and I have to say these are one of my most worn shoes. I love these so much. They are quite a bit dirty now. I have to excuse myself. I didn't really clean every single shoe for this video but these, like I said, are such a dream. They are so comfortable. You can walk in them hours and hours and your feet won't get hurt. I really really like these so much. They are true to size as well and I simply think they are such a classic style of white sneakers. And since I loved the classy pair of Valentino sneakers so much, I also got these. These are super classy as well. As you can see, I have them with the navy stripe detailing, but they actually come in a ton of different colors, so you really can choose so many different colors for the stripe. I really like navy because I do have a ton of different navy colored bags, but in general, I really like the color blue and navy, which you will probably see throughout this video. But these, again, I really like. Comfort-wise, they are exactly the same. I have worn them a few times as well. Actually, a lot of times, not only a few times. But I haven't worn them as much as the classic pair, simply because the one with the studs go with literally everything, even with dresses. But these, I definitely need to wear something that matches the navy. But still, I highly recommend these. I really love them so much. And again, they are true to size. And on to my third pair of Valentino sneakers, which are these glittery ones. I really loved the glitter all over. I thought it's such a nice pair of sneakers and for a pair of sneakers quite girly as well because of the glitter but these weren't the best purchase because the glitter makes this sneaker really hard and that's why it definitely hurts a bit while walking so these probably weren't the best choice but I had to have these. I simply adored the glitter so much in this black and silver glitter. It also doesn't fall off at all which is super nice so you don't have glitter anywhere. It has these cute little stats in the bag so detail wise i really like them they are also true to size just like the others but the cut definitely is a bit different they are quite a bit more narrow and i personally think just because of the glitter they definitely weren't the best option and i knew once i tried them the first time that they are quite a bit more stiff but I still had to have them. I don't know why. Maybe I will sell them 
now because I don't really grab them at all which is super sad I don't really like to have shoes that I don't grab often so maybe I will sell them but I still don't really know I still love them but I think it just makes no sense to keep them if I don't wear them I do have quite a few different pairs of open toe shoes from Valentino as well First up is this really fun pair of turquoise sandals. I really love this color so much. It's such a beautiful color. The heel height of these are amazing. They are also true to size, so I have them in size 37, which definitely is super nice. I haven't worn these too much just because of the color but paired with a gold handbag these are such a cute pair of statement sandals for summer so I really like these as well. Now on to one of my most worn pairs of Valentino shoes which are these gorgeous Valentino sandals with the block heel. These are so comfortable, I really like them. I have worn them quite a ton, but they still look so good. So I highly recommend these. They are again true to size and I just think this color is the most perfect color for me. It's in this bluish grey color, but these again come in so many different colors and I think maybe in an all gold pair or an all silver pair, these are just the most perfect shoe, even for weddings. You can literally wear them all day and night long. They are super comfortable, so I highly recommend these. I also have a pair of flat sandals in this leather version. This one is in this blue color and these honestly I have worn so often. It's embarrassing to even show the sole so often have I worn them. But I simply love these so much. They are such a beautiful and classic pair of sandals and again they come in so many different colors. I have a matching handbag for these as well. So with a ton of these Valentino shoes I have matching handbags because I had a big Valentino face. But I still love Valentino so much. I love the rock sets. I think they are super classy. So I really love these as well and I can't wait to wear them soon. Hopefully the temperatures will be warm enough soon for me to wear these. I also have this classic cream pair and these I have for years and years and I actually wanted to sell them a few years back but somehow I kept them and now recently I saw that Valentino started doing these giant rock sets again but I have to say it's not my color so maybe I'm still gonna sell them. I haven't quite figured it out yet. I have it in this gorgeous classy cream color. These I have in size 37 and a half and I have to say personally I think the color doesn't really match my skin tone that well so maybe I'm still selling them but I found it quite nice to see that they are starting to do the huge rock sets again. I also have a pair of these classic PVC sandals in this gorgeous navy color. I have actually shared them on my channel previously when I purchased these and I simply love these so much. These fit true to size as well so I have them in size 37 and they are so comfortable. I personally love that you are able to wear these on the streets as well as to the beach because of the material. You can simply wash them off and when we went to Miami I actually wore them on the streets as well as on the beach and look guys they look so good. So I really really am so happy that I purchased these and I simply love that you can get so many different colors and also these are quite a bit more affordable than the leather ones and the leather ones definitely don't hold up as nicely as these do. 
I also went a bit overboard with Valentino flip-flops. So I do have this gorgeous simple pair of flip-flops for the beach in silver. And since I love them so much, I also bought them in gold, which is super excessive, I know. But these mainly are the only flip-flops that I use now and they are so comfortable. You do have to keep in mind though, that you definitely need to size up with these so I have these in size 38 I simply love them so much they are so comfortable and I do love that I have a gold pair as well as a silver pair and now on to the next brand which will be Solara and I currently have three different pairs of Solara shoes and while we are already talking about sandals, let's start with sandals. So I do have the classic new Piet sandals in this gorgeous platinum color, which I simply adore. I have a Louis Vuitton twist bag, which goes so well with this color of platinum which is mainly because I bought these to match with this bag but they also go really nicely with others. I love again that these are available in so many different colors and they are also so classy looking as well as comfortable. They are true to size so definitely take your true size. I have them in size 37 again. I have worn them quite a few times but I love them so much. I also have a pair of the classic tribute pumps. I actually previously owned another one which was the higher heeled version. This one is kind of a lower heel but still quite high but I prefer this version over the higher heeled version. I had the others in cream color which wasn't really my color. This color I much prefer. It's such a beautiful gray, muddy gray color. Again, these are true to size, so size 37 I have them. And I have to say these are one of the most comfortable shoes for going out because of this plateau. This makes them so comfortable. So if you are looking for a good shoe, you can really wear it dancing the night away. These are the ones to go. They are also super hard wearing, so you can't really scratch them. These definitely are so perfect for going out, which is why I actually got them in the lower heel version. You will probably see that I personally don't like to wear as many high heels because I'm already quite tall, so I prefer like midi heels, but these I do really like. I love that they are so comfortable and again, like most of the shoes I showed you so far, these are available in a ton of different colors. And my last pair of YSL shoes is a pair of YSL Espadrilles in this gorgeous blue color. It's made out of a jeans material, as you can see, and it has this YSL embossing in the front, which I love. They are also leather lined, which makes them super comfortable. In the back, they have a black detailing, and I have to say, I'm not the biggest fan of this detailing. I would have preferred it to be blue as well, but it's not too bad. Here you can also see the sole, I have worn them quite a few times. They are not the most comfortable, but I have to say, that's my fault. I definitely picked the wrong size. I actually purchased these in size 38 because they were on sale and they were in such a good price and I thought, okay, no, they work. They are not too bad at all. My foot were so swollen that day. And I wore them actually and after a few times of wearing them I noticed when my feet aren't swollen these 
are a bit too big and that's why I definitely move around a lot in them but I will definitely put an insole now in these when I wear them again and maybe that helps if not I probably will sell them YSL does do this pair of espadrilles in different colors every single year so if they don't work I might be selling them but for now I'm keeping them I simply love the color and I love the embossing on the front and now on to to Louis Vuitton and to my own surprise I actually only have one pair of Louis shoes I've tried on Louis shoes multiple times and they always ended up being not really fitting for my type of foot I do have one pair which is this pair of espadrilles, again blue and in this jeans material and it has like the Louis Vuitton writing all over. Look wise I really love these so much and I have worn them quite a few times but I honestly have to say they are not the most comfortable. It somehow is the Louis Vuitton shoes don't really fit my foot. I do still like them and I feel like whenever I wear them they are okay but definitely not the most comfortable which is so sad because in general I think Louis Vuitton has a ton of different beautiful shoes but they are so ill-fitting for my foot. The amount of sneakers I already tried on from them, it's ridiculous and they always ended up hurting me, which is super sad, but maybe I will find another pair or a few more pairs in the future from Louis that will fit me, but so far I only have this one in my collection. Let's move on to the next brand, which will be Dolce Gabbana. And since we are already talking about espadrilles, the last pair of espadrilles that I have in my collection is from Dolce. And it's this gorgeous pair. I actually have a matching handbag. I have a Sicily bag, which is blue and white striped. And I really wanted the matching shoes to go with this bag. And I really think that this maritime look is always on style and you can't really go wrong with it. So I picked up these espadrilles. I actually purchased these on sale and I have worn them quite a few times and these are actually the most comfortable espadrilles that I have. I love like this red anchor detailing as well as the little stars all over. I think it is such a fun pair and definitely quite unique. They are true to size so I have these in size 37 and as I said they are super comfortable so the size definitely is true to size and fits really well. I also love that these are actually fully leather lined which makes them much more comfortable as well. I really can't wait to wear these again. These really are so fun. And since I loved the blue and white look so much, I actually also got this pair of sandals to go with my set for warmer days and I have to say I'm really happy that I purchased these as well. They are again true to size so I have them in size 37 and I have worn them quite a few times as well. The only thing, these definitely aren't as comfortable as the espirals that I have. However, I love that these are fully white and navy with this blue anchor and the blue stars. Isn't this so cute? However, 
As I said, these aren't as comfortable simply because the stitching on here really wraps my foot. But whenever I wear them, I simply take a plaster now and put it on here. And that way I don't have the issue with the stitching bothering me. So I really love these as well. I got them 50% off as well. So I really had to take these to simply set a stunning set and I do think again this maritime look is so suitable for vacationing and I really think you can't go wrong with it. A lot of times Dolce designs aren't really suitable for like forever but these I think I honestly think I will have these for forever because the style is just so timeless so I really really love these. And last but not least, my last pair of Dolce & Gabbana shoes is this beautiful pair with all the sequins all over. Isn't this so gorgeous? I really like sequins. So this is such a fun pair with the sequins as well as this crystal detailing in the front. Dolce actually keeps remaking this style of shoe in so many different ways. It comes in a flat version like this, but it also comes in a high heeled version, which I personally really like. But I only have a flat version. I sized down in these to a size 36 actually. So these definitely weren't true to size. If you're in between sizes, definitely keep that in mind. I definitely love these and as you can see from the sole, I have worn them quite a few times and I think they are such a fun pair of sparkly flats and definitely add something really exciting to an outfit. And now on to my only pair of Manolo Blahnik shoes. I currently have this gorgeous pair of Hengisi pumps and as you can see these are in blue but they are actually blue velvet. Color wise they are quite similar to the blue Carrie Bradshaw ones but these are in velvet and I thought these are so different which I simply loved. They are also a bit more expensive than the classic ones but I don't mind. I think these are simply so stunning. I have this pair in the 75 centimeter version so there is a higher heel version as well but I think this heel height would be perfect for me. The only thing that saddens me about this is that I actually haven't worn them even once out and about just because I bought these right around the time the pandemic started so I really haven't gotten the chance to wear these out and about but just for fun I've worn them a few times around the house and I have to say I really like them and I do think they are quite comfortable but I can't really tell you if they are comfortable when you wear them for hours but I only have heard good things about the Hangisi pumps so I really think that these will be quite comfortable. Size wise I picked size 37 so they are true to size just in case you are interested. I do really love this pair. It's so gorgeous. I also have a pair of Christian Louboutin heels which are these gorgeous yellow gold ones. You can see here the heel is quite high but not too bad at all. You have these gorgeous rattles and as you can see they are still brand new as well. I'm really sad to say but because of the pandemic I haven't had any chances to wear these out and about as well just like the Manolos and I have to say this very rarely happens so both of these I haven't worn out which is super sad but hopefully this summer I will be able to wear these 
I did pick them up in size 37 so they are true to size and I personally simply love this waving detailing. I think they look so flattering on the foot. I previously did own the classic Kate heels as well but they didn't work for me. I always got blisters so I sold them. So hopefully these will be more comfortable. I can't wait to try them. On to Miu Miu now. I simply adore Miu Miu shoes. They are so comfortable and definitely really well fitting for my foot. And first up is actually my first pair of real designer heels. I still have them and they are from Miu Miu and these are them and I have worn these to death. You can see they are so bad looking but I still keep them because they are actually so nice for going out. I haven't worn them in a while though, not only because of the pandemic, but in general I haven't worn them in a while. But back in the days when I was like 18, I think I got them like for my 17th or for my 18th birthday, I don't know. I even found them on sale on net and and my mom was so furious because she was like, no, I'm not buying these for you. These look like hooker heels. But I wanted them so badly and in the end I got her to buy these for me. And I have worn them so often for nights out with my girls back in the days. And I think for the amount of wear they got, they actually still look good, but they are quite better, I have to say. But it's still a really classic pair. The heel height is huge. These probably are my highest heels and they also are super high because they have another plateau. But I honestly think I will keep these forever just because these were my first high heels and I actually think these were my first ever Miu Miu shoes as well and they are now like 8 years old so that's definitely crazy but I still have them and I honestly I still love them. I also have this gorgeous pair of black pumps with this block heel and these gorgeous star sequins in the back which I simply love so much as well. For these I sized down actually, so these are in size 36 and they still fit so perfectly and I have to say these I love. I have worn them around the office a few times and they are so comfortable so I really like these as well and I also love that these are made out of these satin fabric which makes them look so beautiful because they are a bit shiny. I also have these gorgeous light pink kitten heels from Miu Miu and they even have like a little kitten on the sole like most Miu Miu shoes have. I've worn these a few times and these are so comfortable. I really like them so much. The crystal detailing on here is actually a bit stretchy as you can see which makes it so comfortable and the shoe really hugs you in. I have these in size 37 as well so they are true to size again and this pair in this gorgeous light pink color I simply adore but Miu Miu actually makes this one in black in white in gold there are a ton of different colors available on this one and I think it is just such a beautiful classic one also, because this comes in white, I think the white one would be such an amazing option for a wedding shoe. So if you are watching and you are a bride, definitely check out the white version. I personally really like it and if I would be getting married anytime soon, I would definitely choose the white one as my wedding shoes because they are so elegant, so comfortable. So I personally have to say I really, really like these and love that I have these in my collection. 
and since I loved the high heel version so much, I actually also got a little sling bag version in this black patent which I adore so much as well. For these though I had to size down half a size so I opted for size 36 and a half and now they fit perfectly. I actually even owned this one in a light gold version but I sold them because they didn't really work for me but in this black color I adore them. I simply love this crystal detailing. I think it is so so classy and timeless and I know with these that I can wear these years down the road and still look pretty. And talking about sling bags, I also have another Miu Miu sling bag pair, which is this one, again, black patent. But this one is a bit different because it has like the crystal detailing on each side. And I have to say, I really love the crystal detailing on these so much. These are extremely comfortable. These, however, I do have in size 37 actually. So these are true to size, unlike the others, which I have in size 36 and a half. But maybe it is because you can actually adjust these a bit. I simply love these and I have worn them a ton of times simply because they are so comfortable and also black simply goes with literally everything. I also have this classic nude colored pair of ballerina flats from Miu Miu and as you can see they have this crystal detailing in the back. I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of the color anymore. I have worn them quite a few times. They are true to size again but the color really isn't that well for me anymore. I don't really um, love cream and I think it doesn't really suit my skin tone but I do still have them in my collection but I will probably sell this pair very soon just because I never really grab these anymore. And I also have two pairs of Miu Miu sneakers. I have this gorgeous pair in this glitter version. And I also have this blue and white pair that has the Miu Miu writing all over. These I have worn so many times. You can see they are quite battered actually. These, however, I haven't worn a ton of times. I actually wanted to sell these and I actually mentioned it on my channel as well. But I ended up deciding to keep them and I have worn them like twice or maybe a third time. But I haven't worn them that much as these. These are simply better suiting for me because of the black color. They really pair nicely. Whereas with these, I think I need to wear white pants with these to really make them work. But I still like them though. But I prefer the glitter ones. Both are true to size, so definitely take your true size if you are buying these. They are super classy and I love that these are so narrow and I think these are definitely really suited for people that have narrow feet and I also think for a pair of sneakers these are actually super feminine. And now on to Prada and the first pair of Prada shoes I actually still own and I have to say I'm almost embarrassed to show them to you but I honestly still wear them even though the condition definitely isn't the best anymore and I'm talking about this classic pair of sandals. It is in black patent with these gorgeous gold studs and you can see by the sole can't really show it to you that long. These are battered. I even had to take them to the cobbler because I actually damaged them while walking and had them fixed up. 
They definitely don't look too well anymore, but I loved these and they literally went with everything. So I do still have them and I don't really think it's worth selling them simply because of the condition. And sometimes, as I said, I still wear them, especially when I need a pair of sandals to just quickly run to the supermarket or anything. This definitely works still. I have them in size 38 actually, so they weren't true to size back then. They are quite old. I think these have to be like seven or eight years old already as well, but I still like them as I said and actually Whenever I visit the designer outlet stores, I always look in Prada if they have them. I will tell you, once I see them, and I don't know, but I still have high hopes, when I see them again in like an outlet boutique, I would totally buy these. Back then, I actually purchased these full price, which is crazy. I would never purchase Prada full price again, but back then I did and I do still think that maybe sometime in the future I will be able to see them in the outlet boutiques because once I saw them in white but sadly they didn't have my size otherwise I would have taken them just because these are such comfortable sandals. I also have this super classic pair of Prada Ballerina flats. They have like this cute bow detailing, they have written Prada on them and they also have a little patent toe cap. Otherwise they are made out of this canvas fabric which is so nice. They also have a little detailing in the back and these again I have worn so many times. They are true to size so I picked size 37 and I have to say Prada flats in general are super comfortable so if you are looking for a classy pair of ballerina flats definitely check out Prada. I really like them and when it comes to pricing, I think they aren't too bad at all as well. And the last pair of Prada shoes that I currently have in my collection is a pair of black boots. And I have to say, these I love so much as well. Prada keeps remaking these in different versions year after year. These are already quite old, but I simply love them. And I honestly think this is one of a pair that I will have forever as well. They are so classy. You have the zipper on each side and you can also see it has like the Prada lettering and I think these are just super flattering and I also think they are really comfortable because of the block heel and also the heel height is really amazing. Now on to Stuart Weitzman. If you've previously watched my channel, you might have seen my Stuart Weitzman boot collection. So I do actually have like a ton of different Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots. I have the Highlands, I have the Lowlands, I have the Midlands. I do also have one classic pair of ankle boots, which I'll show you. But for the Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots. I have to say I love them all. They are true to size but I personally always size up half a size because that way I can put a warm insole in for winter. But if you want to have more information about the Stuart Weitzman over the knee boots I will have a link for you in the video as well as down in the description box and you can check out my entire Stuart Weitzman boot collection. The glove boots, which are essentially an ankle boot version of the Lowlands, I am also showing you in closer detailing in my Stuart Weitzman boot collection, but I just quickly wanted to share it here with you as well. These I have in size 37, so I have them true to size. I don't have a insole in these, and I simply love these. They are so simple and elegant, and you can really wear them a ton especially because the heel is so comfortable. 
on to Tots now. I currently only own one pair of Tots shoes and these are them. So these classy ankle booties with the gold detailing on each size. Again, these have a block heel, so I think by now you can really see I love comfort and this block heel definitely gives me that. It's super comfortable. Also, Tots also have this sole on the bottom, which is so nice when it's super cold and a bit slippery. So I really like these. These I also have in size 37, so they run true to size, and I think these are just really classy. In general, I think Tots have some amazing booties for fall and winter, so if you are on the hunt for a classic pair, definitely check out Tots. On to Montclair now. I do have one pair of Montclair shoes as well and this is the pair. So these really comfortable boots for winter. I really like these so much. The sole is actually amazing and so perfect for when it's quite cold and snowy outside. They definitely are quite rain and snow repellent, which is amazing. I also love like the little Montclair detailing in the back, which is just such a nice detailing. As well as look on here, it also says Montclair. So these are just really comfortable. They also are really warming for your feet and Montclair actually does do versions of this little booty every single year so I highly recommend these. I wasn't sure if I should include my moon boots. I do have two pairs of moon boots but I don't really know if I would call them designer so I didn't include them but they definitely remind me a lot of moon boots and in general I think moon boots are super comfortable as well. So if you are looking for a good pair of shoes that will keep you warm in winter which you can wear when you don't want to get your boots destroyed this is definitely a great option so i really recommend these for winter i also have three pairs of nicholas kirkwood shoes first up are these beautiful sandals they are super classy but i love the strap detailing on top as well as on the bottom you can see they have a really chunky block heel which makes them so comfortable and also a little gold detailing on the sides as well as when you close it it is gold these are just super basic super comfortable again size 37 i've worn them a few times especially for evening events or nights out these are really comfortable and in general i actually think that nicholas kirkwood makes really good shoes and you can also get them on sale every single season Season. So these I actually purchased on sale as well as all the other Nicholas Carport shoes I own. Let me show you the other pair I have. So I do have another classy pair of Nicholas Kirkwood heels. So these are them and I really like these as well. These you have to tie in the back and you really have to make sure that you tie them correctly otherwise they will loosen up. That's the only negative I have to say about these otherwise they work really well. And what I love about these is the heel. So you can see from the back it looks like it's chunky but from the side you can actually see it's really thin and I think it's so different which I personally really like and with a classy looking pair of black strappy sandals you honestly can't go wrong. 
And last but not least, when it comes to Nicolas Carquois, I also have these cute ankle boots in black again. So I do really think that Nicolas Carquois has amazing shoes, especially black ones. And you can always get the black ones on sale as well. Like I mentioned, all the Nicolas Carquois shoes I got on sale. And these booties I simply love. They are so amazing, so classy. But yet again, because of the heel, they are different. Friend. You can see it's like this triangle shape. I've worn them quite a few times. The sole looks quite battered now but I have to say I really like them and the leather is so comfortable really these are so comfortable they are made out of full leather so definitely really good quality size wise again I have these in size 37 so Nicholas Kirkwood shoes in my opinion definitely run true to size I currently also own one pair of John Vito Rossi pumps and I have these classic black ones and these are just so basic but I love them. I really think these are so comfortable. I've worn them a few times also but mostly in the office and these are size 37 so they are true to size. The heel height on these is amazing in my opinion. The heel height is just so on point which makes it so comfortable. And in general I think Gen Vita Rossi pumps are quite comfortable. I only own this pair but in the future I definitely want to add some more to my collection. Especially the more classy ones because these are so comfortable. And now on to Tory Burch. I do have quite a collection of Tory Burch shoes. First up is this really classy pair of cream Tory Burch flats with the gold detailing in the front. I really like these. They are super comfortable. I used to have these in black actually as well. But the black ones I have sold because I definitely didn't pick the right size and I literally fell out of the shoe whenever I walked so I parted with them. But I still have these because these I have actually in size 37 and the others I think I had in size 37 and a half. I also have these really classy but kind of already better looking ballerina flats I have these gray ones and I have these striped ones with the blue and white striping which I have to say I really like these I really grab these a ton especially when I want to wear shoes that I don't really have to worry about I also have this pair which is in this blue and white combination and it has like a woven detailing which they actually quite frequently make these again I have worn these so often my Tory Burch ballerina flats have gotten so much wear and they honestly are quite comfortable so these I simply love these. I actually have in size 36 and a half. So I go between size 36 and a half and size 37 in Tory Burch. I simply love the woven detailing on this with the little gold detailing. I also have this pair with the glittery bow and these I need to bring to the cobbler because the sole is a bit destroyed on the front but I have worn these quite a lot they are super comfortable as well again these are in size 37 and I think this is just such a classic and cute pair when it comes to sandals I also have a few pairs of sandals from Tory Burch First up are these classic black ones with the gold detailing and I think these are called the mill sandals, correct me if I'm wrong, but these are quite basic for Tory Burch so they bring these out year after year and they always have different colors and these are quite comfortable as well. I have them in size 37 and these are just great for on the go. I also 
also have this really simple silver pair with the little silver Tory Burch logo and these I really like as well. You can really wear them whenever, wherever and you don't really have to worry about these because the silver is actually quite hard wearing. So I really like these as well just because they are so simple and I do think they are kind of understated. I also have this rose gold pair which I actually have worn so often simply because this is actually the only rose gold pair of sandals I own and I really like these as well. You can see they have like crystals in the Tory Burch logo and I have to say Tory Burch shoes in general are so comfortable so I really like these as well even though they definitely have seen better days. I also have this classic pair of white ones which you just slide in. They have a little bow detailing as you can see and have the logo in it as well. Just again another super basic but yet again cute pair which I really like. And last but not least, when it comes to my Tory Burch collection, I have these flip-flops from Tory Burch, which are super nice for the beach and the pool. And considering that I have worn them quite a lot, they actually held up really nicely. I love like all the little gold Tory Burch logos. Just a really cute and simple pair. And I love it in this black color. Now on to Castania. I do have a pair of Castania wedges as well. I wasn't really sure if I should include these in this video because they aren't really high-end designer. But they still are designer. They are available on Ethopote, My, My Teresa. So all the luxury sites have these. And I have to say for wedges they aren't that inexpensive too. So they are expensive for simple wedges. But I highly recommend these. These are super so comfortable. They are true to size again so I have these in size 37. I simply love this color. It's so perfect for spring summer but they actually also come in a ton of different colors. So if you are on the hunt for a good pair of wedges that will actually stand the test of time definitely check out Castagna. When it comes to Gucci, I actually only have one pair, which is this classic pair of ballerina flats and again black patent. I really like black patent. These are quite comfortable as well and I have worn them quite a few times. They are in size 37 again. These are just super basic, so such a classic pair of flats with the bow detailing in the front. You really can wear these wherever, whenever and look classy. On to Balenciaga now. You do know probably that they say once you like something, get it in every color and that is exactly what I did. I have four different colors of these Balenciaga sandals and these sandals simply are my favorite sandals ever for summer. I love them so much so I have them in four colors already and if I can get them in other colors I definitely would. My first pair actually was the blue one. So this is the pair that really sparked the love for Balenciaga sandals. They are true to size and this vibrant blue color is just amazing. I bought these to go with my YSL Kate bag which is exactly in the same blue color. So I really love these so much but I also had to have them in silver. The silver ones are the only ones that I have in size 37 and a half and that's simply because they weren't 
anywhere available in size 37 so I just got them in size 37 and a half and they fit okay you can see though the sole definitely looks the worst out of all these shoes just because the silver starts coming off which is a bit of a bummer but once you wear them you don't really see it and I have to say I simply love them I also really like this platinum color. You can see on the platinum color the wear off isn't too bad. These look so nice again with my Louis Vuitton twist bag which is in platinum color as well. And the black pair with the gorgeous gold studs is just a no-brainer. Such a simple and classic pair. And these I actually got because my Prada sandals are so battered and I think these look-wise are a lot like the Prada ones. So I decided to get black ones as well and I really am so glad that I did. I actually think they discontinued the style but I'm not sure probably if you go look you might find some pairs that are still left but I personally have to say I'm so glad that I have them in four colors I think they are so timeless they are so simple with the studs so I really think that I will be able to wear them for a long time and I'm super happy that I have four different pairs and now on to Dior the first pair of shoes from Dior, which I'm going to show you, is a pair of sneakers. And it is this classic, beautiful pair of fusion sneakers in navy. And this is the only pair of sock sneakers that I have. And I have to say, these are so comfortable. I really, really like them. I also love the detailing in the back. You can see it says like Christian Dior and it has a little bow on the side as well. Also, the sole is a bit chunky, but it looks so dynamic. So I really, really like these as well. These I have in size 36 and a half, I think, because I do actually have every single Dior shoe that I own in size 36 and a half. So it doesn't say it anywhere here, but I definitely think that I picked size 36 and a half. And these fit so nicely and as I said, so comfortable. You literally feel like you are walking on clouds. So I highly recommend the Dior Fusion sneakers. I really love that they have a few different colors of these as well. I also have two pairs of classic Chatillard sling bags and my first pair is this one in this gorgeous cream white color and you can see just by quickly looking at the sole I have worn these so often and I have to say these are definitely one of my most worn pair of shoes and they are so so extremely comfortable. Again, as I said, I have these in size 36 and a half and they fit perfectly. I simply love the Jadior detailing and again, so comfortable. The white patent definitely isn't as forgiving though. I also have the sling bags in this gorgeous black color and you can see these are fabric and Compared to the patent, the patent definitely stretches out a bit, whereas with the fabric you don't see it at all. Again, the sole is quite worn because I have worn these so many times, but I simply love the sling bags so much, especially in the flat version. I think they are so comfortable and I highly recommend them if you are on the hunt for sling bags or if you have been thinking about purchasing the Shadior sling bags for a while now, definitely get them. These definitely are worth the splurge. I also have a little kitten heel version of the sling bags, but this one is quite a unique one. So you can see I have the sling bag, Shadior ones, but these don't say Shadior. They only have like a letter detailing with the bow 
and in front you can see all the crystals isn't this such a beautiful shoe i really like this one i actually purchased these in new york and i simply adore them so much the heel height is amazing because they are so comfortable and just the sparkles and the detailing it is so amazing these were quite expensive i remember but i think these are so timeless and such a beautiful pair of sparkly kitten heels i honestly can't wait to wear them again i think just one of the most beautiful shoes that i have in my collection i actually purchased these to go with my classic lady dior the one with the rhinestones the stones are different to this but i thought the sparkle really match so I just had to have these and I'm so glad that I purchased these they are just to die for and now on to my last Dior shoe that I currently have in my collection which is a pair of pumps and this is my beautiful pair of Dior pumps and I simply love these. These are one of my favorite high heels in my entire collection. I love how simple they are with the black leather but yet again because of the crystal detailing they are so nice and I love that this one goes like sideways. It's so beautiful. I've worn them a few times already as well. Also guys look Dior shoes also always have like the star detailing which is so nice. Again, as you could see, I have these in size 36 and a half and these just fit so well and I love them so much because of the level of comfort they give me. So I'm really really happy about these. I actually purchased these on sale and I think I got like 40% off and they were still quite expensive. I think the normal retail price was like over 1k but I got 40% off and they were still expensive but honestly worth the splurge such an amazing shoe and i couldn't be happier about these and now on to the last brand which will be chanel and i have a few pairs of really amazing chanel shoes in my collection at least in my opinion and i'll start with the sneakers so first up is this really classy pair of black Chanel sneakers which I simply adore. I love this pair so much. I also have worn these quite a few times already and they are so comfortable. I really highly recommend these. These I have in size 36 and a half so in Chanel I also tend to size down as well just like with Dior. You can see these have like tweed and then the little CC logo on each side as well as from the back. These are just so nice. They also say like Sha on one side and Nell on the other side and here you can also see them from the inside. Just a really beautiful pair of sneakers. I predominantly wear them in autumn just because I think the tweed material really screams autumn. But because of the black color you really could wear them year round. I think this definitely is such a must have if you love Chanel. Get yourself a classic pair of Chanel sneakers in black. You will get so much wear out of it. I love how nicely this pairs with my classic flap but also with my cocoa handles as well as with my boy bag. So I personally am super happy about these but I do have other pairs of sneakers as well which I'm gonna show you next. So next up is this pair of sneakers in this gorgeous blue color with white detailings and I love these so much. I think by now you can really see I like black, I like white, I like metallics and I like blue and a little bit of pink. So these are my colors, I found my colors and these 
definitely suit me so well and go with so many different outfits of mine. I really love these. The mesh material makes these super breathable so I even love to wear these in summer. Because of the material they are so breathable and you don't sweat too much so I really like them. I also love like the CC detailing. I think the color again just to die for. I really love them. I can't wait to wear them again once the temperatures are a bit warmer. The only thing that bothers me about these is that I purchased these full price and I actually went to the sale event from Chanel and they had them in the sale and they would have had my size in this exact same color and I paid full price and I would have been able to save 40% off. That kind of bugs me because I personally don't really like to spend full price on items that I don't have to but I still I have gotten so much wear out of these so it doesn't really matter. I would have been able to get these in red as well actually in the sale but I ended up not getting them just because I don't think that I'm really suited for red. You can see I found my colors. I really love this pair though and I really can't wait to wear them again. And last but not least is my last pair of Chanel sneaker and it is this gorgeous white pair with the Chanel laces and it also says Chanel here and has a little CC detailing in the back and on the soles you can actually see it has like the CC logo as well. I personally just love this shoe so much. It is one of the most comfortable sneakers I own and I personally love how feminine these look for sneakers. So they are quite narrow. It's kind of a tennis sneaker. So they are quite narrow and they look so good styled. I really really like them. Again size 36 and a half. Oh no, I just see. I actually have these in size 37. I remember I wasn't able to get them in size 37 and a half. So these are size 37 and they fit perfectly fine. I really love the black and white combination. And when they had these, they actually had a ton of different colors of this one. I personally just loved the classic one, especially with the laces. And I actually have spare laces as well. So I can have like a simple unicolored pair of laces as well. But I personally do really like the Chanel laces. I think this is such a cute style and I can't wait to wear them as well. I haven't worn them this year just because it's been really cold but now the temperatures are getting warmer so I definitely want to wear these soon. I also have this cute black pair of ballerinas with a little heel and these I simply love so much as well. If you watched my channel before, you probably know that I got these in the winter sale this year and I have worn them twice already and so far I think they are quite comfortable. I love the silver chain detailing as well as the little cap on the front and the little CC logo on each side. I think these are so so beautiful, super classy and really comfortable so I can't wait to wear them more. Hopefully they will stay comfortable but so far so good. And the next pair is also a pair that I purchased this year in the winter sale and it's this gorgeous cream colored pair of Chanel sandals and I just noticed that I have these in size 37 so actually when it comes to Chanel I'm in between size 37 and 36 and a half. These I have in size 37 and they fit so well. I of course haven't worn them yet, it's been quite cold, but as soon as the temperatures are right for these, I'm gonna wear them. I think they are just so stunning. I love like the little CC charm on each side and the color is super 
nice as well such a classic cream color that will literally go with everything so i really can't wait to wear these and last but not least the last pair of designer shoes from my collection which i'm showing you is again chanel and it is this gorgeous pair of sandals with again a block heel you guys probably know i know i love block heels this pair of sandals is one of the most amazing pairs of shoes in my collection in my opinion i simply love it so much these i actually have in size 36 and a half and they fit so nicely the block heel is so comfortable but what really makes this shoe great is the light gold color with all the chain detailings i think this shoe is just such a perfect summer sandal and i have worn them last year already and i can't wait to wear them this year again these match so nicely with so many different bags of mine but especially go really well with my light grey cocoa handle because the shade of gold is exactly the same so I'm super happy that I have these in my collection I really really love these so so much all right, everyone, that is gonna be it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing my entire designer shoe collection. It was quite a long video to film and the editing will definitely take long as well. So if you liked it, I would greatly appreciate it if you would give this video a thumbs up. I personally have to say I'm super happy with my designer shoe collection. I know I have so many designer shoes, but I rarely have any high street shoes. I personally think it is really important to have high quality shoes because your shoes take you everywhere and I personally hate to be uncomfortable and I do think it really reflects in my collection. I definitely think on adding a few other pairs but as of right now I'm super happy with this collection and I really hope that you enjoyed seeing it. As I said I've planned on filming it for a while now and I'm so happy to finally share it with you. If you liked it again please give it a thumbs up and also while you're down there it honestly would mean so much to me if you would subscribe to my channel. I do upload new videos quite regularly and I would love to see you for another one. I hope to see you soon. Bye!